everybody once again, this is Akko Kazoo and welcome to the Mutant Habitat walkthrough Master mode, why master mode? Because for leveling from 50 to 60, you cannot do Abyss straight, you need to be level 55 to go Abyss, I think, if I remember correctly Even though the recommended level here says 60, but you cannot do it at level 50 to do the Abyss mode for all the dungeons here If I'm not wrong, you need to be 55, so master as well because if you're using level 50 unique gears you'll be just right so just going to show you a rough difficulty of how the dungeon will feel like and as well as some tips and tricks that i'm going to share with you guys when clearing this dungeon so let's go so basically this dungeon is full of the mutant bugs and you can see that they are spawning from this tunnel so these tunnels needs to be destroyed as much as possible that's just the first tip but right now these are pretty much destroyed and let's watch for deep straight. Oh my goodness, the first fun show EX. Don't worry guys. Before you guys say that I'm biased towards gladiators recently. Are we doing the dungeons of for both Moonlots and Gladiator? So it's gonna be fair here. Yeah, this Carbuncle Laser is a more of the new mob. And this map is only actually one map. So this is where the see these things. You wanna destroy them? And yep. Hang on. Let's kill time. Okay, move on. Yep, okay, move on. So if we don't kill it, they'll just keep continuing to spawn. So one down. And Punch of EX works in such a way that it's actually 360 now, so it's really very good. Last time you need to worry, you know, turn your front show from around to the back, but now you don't need to do that. Don't worry, I'll show you. I mean, I'll show the hacking stance EX at the boss, so don't worry about it. So you can see that the difficulty is not so bad with the master mode, but I'm using plus 12. Um, GDN weapons. So for this area, after you clear all these monsters, the plants will spawn, and then they actually ask you to go to the top side. There are two top sides, and they want you to destroy the caves on the rocks, as you can see right now. So we just kill up there. down just ignore the mobs first because they will just continue to spawn regardless of how many you kill so look at that front jump yes sorry guys don't worry i'll show the same love when i do it on my moonlord rest assured because moonlords have their own new ex skills as well so yep it's gonna be fun so here's the boss area, this is also where the royal chest was spawned. I'm gonna be slotting in a cutscene wrong, a screenshot to show you that that is true. And hang on. Stunts EX, look at the damage. And right here we do a extra spin there and push attack. Oh 635,000. So what's my stats? I have close to 15,000 P attack and 32,000 critical so to get crit cap for 50 cap you need about 33,000 so I'm 2% shy of the critical cap and 3 minutes and 12 seconds not too shabby for a solo run in master mode and don't worry this won't be the dungeon that you'll be running if you want to do your leveling from 50 to 60 I'll be sharing with you guys that dungeon that dungeon sorry in probably the next video and I'll do a leveling guide as usual so the leveling guide will feature that video and so basically you just need to wait for the video that is not shown and yep go check out the moonlord run straight after this i'll put both of them in the same video since it's going to be three minutes plus so the video will be around 10 minutes for one walkthrough for the both dungeons and hope you guys enjoy this walkthrough or this video guide for this new dungeon mutants habitat master mode run by a gladiator thank you all right this is the moonlord run for this dungeon here we go so if you skip to the Moonlord part, I'll just explain the mechanics here. You need to destroy this little light cave which spawns the monsters. First skill coming up, second slash EX, and then Crescent Cleave EX! Yes. Woo! 
Crescent need to be active very well. So, and by the way, so what's changed? It actually reduced the casting speed by a lot. So this is off the down very soon. Should mouse just dive around. There is no longer that very long game. I really hate, hate this plant, as you can see the extra suction effect for the Cyclone Slash EX. And we'll go to the next area. Left stun, gonna get to level 4 at 60 cap. So I'm using level 60 character so you guys can see what's going on. Here's my present to the comes. Look at that. Those two actually combine, I would say they actually mix very very well. I forgot to destroy all the summoning of this. Oh. oh okay, it's a oh, Two more monsters still came out. get yourself running through that Crescent Cleave EX. The reduction of the casting speed really makes me love um, it a lot more. Just realized the Gladiator version of this run actually didn't use ultimate enough. Toy! And we always love Dance, don't we? Heading over to the other side. Over to the plant along. Yeah, but now Flying Show doesn't have EX anymore. Thank you. New transformation for Sword Master will be to combine both classes. Yay! All Sword Masters will rejoice that day. But that will never happen. <laughs> Mutant Lord Connect to has arrived. It's gonna work. Not today. Off if you press and click here. No, you didn't die yet. How about Eclipse? Yeah. So, as always, I also share my level 60 PvP PvE skill build. For my Gladiator, it's actually more of a combination. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, 3 minutes 37 seconds. I think I spent more time pulling around here compared to my Gladiator, but it's only about 20 seconds difference, not too much. And the Gladiator actually have the darkness weapon, this one doesn't, so in terms of gears, the Gladiator is just a wee bit better. But yeah, it's master mode, so whichever class can kill mobs in a flash faster, and I don't think I actually use my skills rotation well as well. So yep, mutants, habitat for you, the moon lord run, and we'll go to the next dungeon, make sure you watch the next video as well, because this video will just be mutants habitat, and if you missed the... Um, Royal Chest screenshot in the gla Gladiator run. Yeah, it spawns right here. Okay, so it spawns at the end of the map. And once again, we guys enjoy this short video. Thanks for watching once again. God bless. And look out for the next dungeon walkthrough. Goodbye. We're not mana. This is it, guys. Come on, Kazu. Come on. Yes! Uh, good fight, Kazu. Good fight. <laughs> okay, guys, that's the end of the last series. My heart just died. Well, that was a good game.